then picked up I just I'm going I'm about ready to go home I just dropped this one off brand new ain't even had a load in it yet and had to turn it in y'all had to turn it in if it was if it was a uh hell and I say it's brand new if it was a if it was a tandem axle, I probably buy it. if I had if I had somebody around here that I could actually rely on that had no problem with making a grand a week. And people talk people be talking a whole bunch of stuff and most people don't make I mean cuz figures do lie but figures don't lie but liars do figure. And we all know leave this boy put this check in this truck uh we all know before i leave they said they coming to they said they'll come pick it up tomorrow the upfitter the upfitter asked me how much would i charge them to let it stay here i told them they can leave it here i don't care I wasn't gonna charge you nothing because the people that i deal with here hell they my bread and butter man you don't look when somebody feeds you man be be careful of how much food you decide to try to take off their plate i ain't saying you should work for free but don't overdo it you know what i mean don't overdo it but uh um okay pam picked up a trailer night transportation hell when i was just down there they must have came right after i left because Pam Transport, they still had a trailer sitting down here. But night night transportation, theirs is still. Because Pam's was sitting right next to it. And that trailer, that Pam trailer been sitting here. Oh, we be there uh, probably give us about two days. Then I go to the SpongeBob deal. Uh, the hell out of here, man. Y'all forget y'all got a trailer here? Ain't got a driver bobtail and coming through the area. I'm telling y'all, the game is rough. Y'all have no idea how rough this game is. And um, but I'm gonna do this right fast before I pull out of here and, and get on the get on the road. But um, I'll see y'all. Uh, I'm I gotta I, I gotta get caught up on my videos. It's just I ain't been feeling real hot. And, uh, and it's hot, and I had all kind of other stuff to do that I got to get, that I had to get done. So I know my, my productivity is off, but once I, you know, get back into the swing of things, I'll get back to normal. And because uh, I'm going back now, all I got to do now is some paperwork. And shoot, if I feel up to it when I'm done, I'll turn on, I'll fire up uh, a live stream instead of making videos on ideology trumps race people i understand the brotherhood thing but ideology trumps brotherhood it always have some people call well classism classism nepotism ideology i get it and i the and and somebody on here he know who he is was on um somebody's live stream and somebody told him you know nick Nick said, uh, like, as he said, like Nick Taylor always say, ideology trump race. And he went, what? That's what, what? How the hell you pick? Okay. And I could have easily, I can easily fix it. You're a Democrat. You're a staunch Democrat. You won't admit it. But your actions, you ain't got to say it. I don't care that you a Democrat. I wouldn't care if you was independent. I wouldn't care if you was a Republican. I wouldn't care. It's, it's your freedom to choose. But we all know right here, right now, like I told him, if Barack Obama, when he came out, even though he's half and half, but uh, uh, he ain't all the way black, I don't care. But y'all call him black. If Barack Obama ran as a Republican, would you have voted for him? Same guy, same color, because see, know what would have been in, in the play then? 
exactly what I expect from somebody with a white mama. He done sold us out by being a Demo by not being a Democrat. Tell me that ideology don't trump race. Ideology trumps race. It always have. It always have. Spanish Inquisition. Spaniards killing Spaniards over ideology, religious ideology, French Revolution, political ideology, the Russian Revolution, the feud, the end of the feudal system, ideology, uh, the Hutus and the Tutsis, Rwanda, the wars, Hutus and Tutsis, they're both Africans. If you took if if you uh, took the garb off of them or put them in neutral clothes, you wouldn't know one from another. They have different ideologies. Ideology has Trump race, and it always will. It's just that simple. And the ideology that and that statement is even stronger in the black ranks because no, the whites. They're like half, almost half and half, half Democrat, half Republican. Hispanics, more Democrats than Republicans, but not as what, not as close of a gap as whites and not as wide as a gap as blacks. Blacks is 90% Democrat. You can't tell me that ideology don't trump race. Well, you can tell me. I ain't listening. Well, I heard you, but I'm not adhering to your bullshit. Ideology trumps race. Brotherhood only goes so far. The covenant, the uh 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 oh, and if you want oh, and you want uh, talking about your ideology trumps race, go talk to them uh, chicks that's calling y'all bullet bags, and 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 carrying uh, trash bags and all that other stuff, and call the police on you and make a false report, say you acting up, so they can come out there and put a couple of hot ones in you. Go go tell them go, go uh, tell them how idea uh, how how uh, your race how y'all sharing the same race that she shouldn't do that. Go ahead, let me know how that work out. Let me matter of fact, let me know when you're going so I can turn on the freaking news because I know how this is gonna go down. Ideology trumps race. I should have patented that crap. I know you can't patent words, but still, I should I, I should have trademarked it or something. Y'all be good and be safe.